Yeah, okay. So um, my name is Taku and I was uh, started doing sushi in San Francisco and that's where I live. Uh, and I started a YouTube channel called Outdoor Chef Life and um, where I where I'm a actually I'm a fisherman and also a sushi chef. So mm. what I do is I go and catch the fish and uh, so I do preparation, everything from uh, how to catch the fish and after I catch it, how to prepare the fish for sushi and make, you know, make sushi and make other type of dishes too. Not just sushi, but, you know, I try to have a variety and incorporating a lot of Japanese uh, style cooking and uh, ingredients. Yeah. Um, so you were go out to, uh, mm -hmm. to the dealing with the nature. Yes, a lot, a lot of uh, oceans, ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Then, then uh, you making and then you eating over there too. Yes, and I eat it too. I eat it. I, yeah, of course. <laughs> I have to eat it. You know, I don't. I I make. I started making food because uh, I wanted to eat good food, but I can't can't afford it. So <laughs> I say, okay, let me just make it myself and try sure. to make it good. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> It's a good inspiration to make good food. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, when you started to the sushi chef or just starting cooking, then why you want to go out to uh, sushi making? So I started cooking um, mainly at home. You know, when I was a kid, I would cook with my mom, help my mom in the kitchen. Or, you know, she sometimes, uh, she always worked in restaurants, but she was a server. And she always worked in sushi restaurants. So she always worked at night. Um, mm. But she makes dinner before she went to work every day. But sometimes she didn't have time. So she would ask me to make dinner for my brothers. Um, I have two brothers. And so sometimes, uh, so she put me in charge to make dinner. So I do that. And um, yeah, I really liked making, making food when I was younger. And then when I moved out to college, um, I made pretty much every meal uh, three times three times a day you know every day um, and that's how I really started becoming more interested in making better food you know that was um, that you went in London I went to London for one year yeah just oh, one I year. See. yeah so mm -hmm. I started in San Francisco State University and then um, and I was there like three years and I went to London one year Hmm. And then I came back to San Francisco State for one more semester. I see. Um, yeah, so in San Francisco State, I didn't, uh, I didn't study like, you know, it wasn't culinary or anything. It was uh, called kinesiology. So that's like uh, for physical therapy. Mm. So, um, that's what I wanted to pursue. I played a lot of sports growing up. Um, I did all kinds of different sports. So um, I wanted to... Uh, practice physical therapy and become a physical therapist uh, because I felt like uh, I was in that field for such a long time, like, you know, doing sports and things. And then uh, the medical side, I really liked as well. So I, um, I was interested in that. And I, uh, I actually did work in physical therapy after I graduated mm. uh, in between being a sushi chef. Um, yeah. So I was, I was starting sushi and I was, I did it for maybe one year. And I said, oh man, this is like not that much money, you know? <laughs> it's so it's so hard work. It's hard work. Yeah. Very hard, right? It, long hours and you're on your feet all day long. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, maybe I should use my degree because I had the bachelor's degree in kinesiology. And I was like, okay. So I started working in a, in a physical therapy clinic um, while I was still working at the restaurant too. So I was going into physical therapy, working from 7 a.m. till like 2.30 and then get off and then go straight to the restaurant and then working till 11 p.m. and, you know, doing that and then just, you know, just uh, pursue, almost just pursuing both at the same time. But then I, quit, I actually quit sushi for like a few months so I could focus on physical therapy. And then I started again doing both and then I went <laughs> back full time to sushi. And I was like, okay, you know what? I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put my energy all into sushi, and I'm, oh. not gonna, uh, I'm gonna, if I want to do physical therapy, maybe I'll do it later on. But now, 
I'm going to do sushi and put my, all, all my energy in that. Mm. So I started doing sushi full time again and then, you know, worked, uh, worked in the restaurant. I worked at a place called Boca Core in San Francisco. And um, yeah, and then I, I'm always, also, I love fishing. Um, I, since I was a kid, my dad take, used to take me fishing in Japan. Uh, I was born in Japan, so my, when I was a kid, from maybe five years old to nine years old, like I would go fishing with my dad. We'd go either to the ocean or some lakes, you know, for bass mm. fishing, and do go camping every year. And um, so I always loved the outdoors. I always loved getting out there, and, mm. and fishing was really one of those uh, one of those things that I really did enjoy every time I got to go. Um, before I went on a fishing trip. Mm. Can't, can't fall asleep because I'm too excited. And yeah, I really, um, I really love that, love that uh, aspect of, you know, being in nature. I see. So you're, you love the fishing and that's why you're going there. And mm -hmm. I'm here at Sushi Chef, you can't wait until bringing it home. You yeah. want to cook it right away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So being, and then practicing sushi, you know, being a sushi chef and, mm. and then getting, and then I got back into fishing more and, it's just uh, natural for me to, you know, take that fish and then try to turn it into sushi because that's what I've been doing. And sure, and, sure, sure. Yeah, and um, I started doing a lot more foraging as well, doing like foraging on the coast, finding like sea urchin, clams, crabs, seaweed, um, all kinds of different things mm -hmm. that you find on the coast in California. And, you know, uni, of course, you turn it into sushi and crabs also. And, yeah, just had a, had a really, when, yeah. When was it, it has come up an idea to put it into on the air to show oh, the many people? Was. On YouTube, yeah. Um, right. So I started YouTube when, uh, let's see, two years ago. Uh, yeah, a little over two years ago. Mm. So, May 2018, yeah, and I started because um, I watch a lot of YouTube. Oh, I, I see. A lot, of, a lot of YouTubers, especially around uh, in the Bay Area, there's a lot of fishing YouTubers. Mm. So um, I watch a lot of them, and I was, but they don't really do much cooking, right? They catch the fish, and maybe sometimes they show a little cooking, but not much, right? So. I was like, okay, I want to start one too, but I want to show the catching, the, the cleaning the fish and preparing the fish, making sushi and making different kinds of things. Right. Because nobody else is doing that. So oh, I, see. I figured, you know, maybe people would like watching something like that because, you know, it's, it's pretty unique um, for right now, at least there's not many people that are taking the catch and then making it into like restaurant quality, you know, so that's what I wanted to do. And that's why I want to showcase on my uh, YouTube channel. And yeah, so that's what I do now. Oh, that's good, 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 good. Yeah. Well, it's a one question so right now. It's just, um, a lot of people are having a hard time to, so an additional coronavirus thing says, how did do your motivation up to in a BS sushi or coming with uh, YouTube things, how, uh, to to motivation up you know you know people most people in a stay home watch tv uh you, you, you see the youtube things that you were outgoing you try to do uh, try hard to to showing things that's uh, how they keep up with yourself yeah so to be to be completely honest um i was having like a difficult time also like when the lockdown started and then I couldn't go fishing, right? And I could still cook at my house, but um, it wasn't the same uh, as catching the fish and then preparing the whole thing. And um, I was just making like regular little cooking videos, but, um, and people, you know, people like it still, but it's not the same. So I, I myself felt like, almost like, man, like, I, like, I can't do this. I, it's not fun for me to do just that because I want to do the whole thing. And I was like feeling a little bit down too. Um, but then I started making like, you know what, I'll try to be more informative, make more 
information like videos that were contains a lot of knowledge try to you know just put what i know into videos like uh making how how we make sushi rice in a restaurant versus how i make sushi rice you know just if i was making it at home you know so uh, restaurant showing restaurant techniques and um showing like i did some knife videos you know using different kinds of knives and trying to see which one is better things like that and uh i had to be definitely had to be creative in those in those months that we couldn't go out um because that, yeah that was very hard that was very difficult uh but uh you know we got got through that part of it now that we can go outside again and we can go i can go fishing um now i'm back to you know back to you know grinding and doing uh waking up early 3 a.m 4 a.m going fishing all day come back make sushi and yeah it, it was i think you just have to it is i know i understand that it is difficult if you just sit around if you're like me like you like to be outside but you have to be you're not allowed to go outside you have to be cooped inside it's very difficult but um yeah i just felt like made myself you know mm -hmm. I challenged my challenged me so I, I just had to j try different things and uh yeah be more creative but mm -hmm. do it. yeah do you have any other advices for uh people having a hard time uh not only the industry and the beer chef or restaurant owners or you have any other advice for them yeah um, so so i think if you're if you're in the industry i know i have i have many friends that are you know still working uh in the sushi restaurants and they're doing like takeout orders but it's not the same you know because you can't have the people inside the restaurant and i worked i worked in a omakase restaurant so the sushi chefs that i work with they're talking to customers all day but then now they can't talk to the customer so they um it's it's different but i think um as long as you keep at it you know just uh stay strong stay uh stay it's hard to stay motivated at this during times like this um but just remember that it's always gonna we're always gonna get through it you know there's always gonna be a uh it's gonna get better yeah so, we'll be back right <laughs> uh, we'll be back so we'll be back and make sure your your skills are honed in when we get back so then mm. it'll be better than before um Good. So uh, finally, as uh, final question says, uh, what's your next new venture you want to try? Mm, yeah. So I have some trips that I'm hoping that we can get to do. Uh, I'm trying to plan a Washington trip and going to Washington and then uh, fishing in their waters, you know, fishing in their mountains and trying to, you know, have a different, slightly different um, kind of environment, right? Because it's, it, so California and Washington, we're all both on the west, west, west coast. So we have similar, very similar, similar coastlines, similar fish, uh, but there's, there's still also a slight change as well, a little different. Um, so I'm trying to, work on that, trying to plan that. But now that we have, you know, the fires all around, even California, Washington, even in Oregon and Washington as well. So um, I'm trying to trying to plan that. Um, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult, but you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, mm. We need to change uh, some plans, then we always, we always will change it. Um, but yeah, that's, we did have a lot of different plans for the summer like i was gonna go back to japan and do some more videos there in japan i was gonna go to europe and do something there uh, we had a lot of different plans but you know everything got canceled so now it's starting to sort of pick back up like i haven't taken any flights but we've been driving you know to a little bit further and then we went to i drove to san diego um, i just came back from there and that was you know that was good that was a good trip so we're getting back into the rhythm of things and just looking forward to 
getting back into it fully, like full force, and you know, really just uh, yeah, going all out and making sure I can create like the best content there is um, for me to for me to do. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, it's uh, like you're requesting in uh, one world sushi school uh, sushi chef network. Well, I like to have your signature dishes uh, very soon, so we can even post it in as soon as, uh, as, soon as possible. So Great. whatever you have, a make on time. So. Okay, and then do, I, do you want me to make it specifically for that, like a video specifically for that, or I can, can I use a video um, that I already posted before? Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Just a few games. So uh, thank you for this time. So we are, we see you soon. And uh, next time we're going down to San Diego, uh, come by and visit us. Yes, I will. Yeah, okay. I'll stop by LA. Uh, and uh, yeah, definitely. I want to I meet you in person. So. All right. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.